not a game, it's a rich thing. last video of this makeup series I've enjoyed it so far hopefully you guys have um, there's a step I typically do not do but it's optional to you is to apply blush I typically don't all the time but you can um, the only blush I really have is by elf is this blush palette they have really good blush palettes this one is in dark and these are like the typical I don't typically use this color but I use the rest of them a lot so with this look I'm going to use this darker shade and I use this um, Real Techniques blush brush or you can use that e.l.f. blush brush and you kind of dab and I kind of smile and kind of a little bit apply some blush there. So that's my blush. You can use blush if you want. So now we have to set the face. So um, I use the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray because I have combination skin oily and whatever. Um, I kind of use one that's kind of... That will help set my makeup. There's different setting sprays out there. Like you need a hydrating one if you have dry skin. A mattifying one. I don't like to use a mattifying one because it can be too mattifying. So I kind of have to find someone in the middle. But I like this one. And Urban Decay has a really good one. The um, All Nighter. So you want to just spray across your face a couple times. Close your eyes of course and your mouth because it's disgusting. So do that part. And I kind of... Fan and make sure if you have lashes on your lashes are completely dry so next up is applying lip product that's why I like to apply my lip balm in the beginning so my it can sink in so my lips are nice and moisturized if you need to exfoliate your lips um do so any lip products out there there's gloss there's liquid lipstick regular lipstick um everything so I typically gravitate towards either gloss or Matt, um, I rarely use like regular lipstick anymore. It's all about the liquid lipstick. It's become my new favorite. My favorite one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. They have a really great formula. ColourPop has amazing liquid lipsticks. I try to try to typically try to find one that does not feel dry on my lips. I hate the ones where I put it on and it feels like you have like a plaster on your lips and they're just it's just so drying. I can't stand it, but. Um, these are pretty good. They stay put all day through eating and everything. These, the ColourPop ones, um, who else has really good ones? I'm trying to think. Of some, I'll put a couple of my favorites. But first, I start off with my eyeliner. Eyeliner. What? <laughs> Lip liner. Um, so this is by MAC. This is typical. I have these and I have ones by ColourPop and I forgot who else, but, um, you just kind of want to outline on your lips. Especially using the liquid lipstick. You need something that's going to, um, in case it starts to, you know, go forward. Or it's a color that is not your complexion. This helps to um, make it look better. So I kind of apply around. Then you want to take the liquid lipstick and apply it. And this one is in Poet. This kind of goes with... Both these looks, I think. I like to use my lips to blend. And yeah, I like the way, I love this color. Then if you want a more of an ombre effect, you want to take the darker liner and I put it in the outer corner and kind of blend it. And basically you can do any lip color that you want. If you're doing a neutral eye, you can do like a nude neutral lip or you can do a bold lip um, with more of a bold eye. I kind of typically try to go in the same family as the eye. So this was like a burgundy kind of gold. So I kind of went with this color. I could have went with like a nude color. I could have went like super dark and vampy. It's all your preference of how you want your look, your makeup to look. I just kind of try to use complementing colors and you know sometimes when I do a neutral eye like this I can go really vampy and dark or I can go totally neutral I can just do a gloss so so that is it guys for this makeup series hopefully you enjoyed this um let me know down below your favorite video or some of your favorite makeup products what tutorials you'd like to see from me in the future makeup related hair related of course I guess hair videos will be coming back um I didn't film this because you've seen a lot of my twist outs but this one turned out really good but anyway hope you guys enjoyed until next time guys i will catch you in the next video bye